Hey gang, what's up? This is Brian with Flint Hill Catfish and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you what I've done differently to my trolling motor install on my Ascend 128T fishing kayak and it's awesome. One of the best things is the pulley system for raising and lowering my trolling motor. So stick around, you're going to see this. So anybody that's ever had a trolling motor on a kayak, I know you've ran into the same problem. You get out on the water and you're like, man, I thought I could have some way to push the button to unlock the trolling motor with some kind of pole and make it pop up so I could get through rapids. And, you know, in theory it works. And I've done it on the water a few times, but it just doesn't cut the mustard, man. When you're getting into a river and you're going down a rapid and you need to pull that thing up right then, or you run into some shallow water or your motor starts dragging and you want to yank it up quick, it's just nice to have something right there that you can pull at your hip and bring that trolling motor up so you don't hit anything. All right, so there's probably lots of ways to do this given the type of kayak you got. This is how I did it. So you can take this idea, apply it to your kayak. Just seeing that it works on mine will give you some confidence that it might work on yours with the right measurements and putting your pulleys where they need to be. So this is what I've done. All right, so what we got here is I took a piece of Am Steel. I think this is 3 16 rope. I tied around this set screw that's a part of the transom mount for the trolling motor. I came up off of that bolt attached or a pulley onto here. It's roughly attached as you can see. I just, I'm, I'm experimenting with this, but it works like a charm. There's prettier ways to do this and maybe I'll get to that later, but right now it works like a charm. I attached this pulley onto here. So from the bolt up, giving me the mechanical advantage going through the pulley, down the pulley or out of that pulley rather, down into this pulley that I attached off the side of my kayak. This little piece comes with the uh, with the pulley. It's just a little pad I made out of stainless steel. So it comes down into there, keeps on trucking. I go into two pad eyes to guide it into a Harkin cam lock. This guy, when you pull through it, I can lift a trolling motor and it locks it. Pull it up and it goes back in place. Just pop it in there. Again, pull it, locks. Pull it more, locks. Pull it up, releases. So what I've done here is the tab that locks or releases the trolling motor right here, when it's in the pushed in position, you would push that in normally, it will raise and lower. When you pull it out, it's locked. It won't go anywhere. So the other thing that had to happen was I had to take this pipe clamp. It's a two hole pipe clamp. You can find clamps like this at Home Depot. And I bent it with a hammer and a vise to make it mold to this tab here. When you push this tab in, it releases this to move freely. When you pull it out, it locks and will not move. What I did was I glued this with Gorilla Glue, the expanding type. You can see it coming out there. That sands off too if you want to make it pretty. And I wrapped a bungee underneath of these wings so it won't rise up above these wings. It stays underneath and we'll pull this thing back and forth. Locking, released. And I just tied it around the back. Again, there's a lot of prettier ways you can do this, but and I may do that later, but right now this is working for me. I put two AM steel ropes through those holes and tied knots on the ends and burnt them. So that's what I'm able to pull from the front of the kayak with. Right here, I just made a series of knots so they came off together evenly into a single strand right here. This guy comes off of here, straight down, and it goes back to right here on my kayak. I put a pad eye that I screwed to my seat right here. So basically, you're looking at that guy right there. When I pull that, locked, and I can wrap it to lock it in place, or I release it, now it's unlocked, and I can raise and lower again. 
that easy. So another thing I've done, gang, is I got a three-blade prop by Kippewa. I'll put a link in the description. This thing makes turning so much smoother. It's got a little more pitch and a third blade, of course. So this really makes a big, big difference in smoother turning and in my initial thrust taking off. So I'm really enjoying that. That's been a good investment. I would say too that this prop even gave me a little increase in speed, almost a mile per hour, uh, even with the weight I'm carrying. So I'm very happy with that thing. So gang, I'm super happy with all the modifications I've done on this kayak. Uh, I have nothing to complain about. I mean, there's just uh, doing this trolling motor lifting mechanism has changed everything for me on the water. And it was probably one of my biggest complaints with the trolling motor and I couldn't figure out a good way to make it happen. So this has worked great for me. I hope it helps you guys a bunch too. If you want some more information on the modifications I did for the whole trolling motor install, including the pulse width modulator, which controls my speed and saves me battery, check out the video I put at the end of this video. And I think you'll get a lot out of that if you haven't seen it yet. Also, I'll put a link for my video at the end that talks about the Dakota lithium 54 amp hour battery that I've installed in here that I'm super satisfied with. So basically I, I'm just, I can't ask for more with what I got in this setup. I really, really like it. One disclaimer I wanted to make, if you put a trolling motor on a kayak, think through how you're gonna load that kayak. Your weight's gonna be a lot different. It does add a significant amount of weight. Um, and most big kayaks that you're throwing a trolling motor on already weigh a lot anyway. So you put a trolling motor on there, it makes it a little more awkward. Uh, there are ways to remove it. I won't get into that right now, but it's just something to think through before you actually put one on the kayak is how you're going to move it. I have a trailer that makes it a lot easier. I don't know if I could do it very easy without it. Thanks for joining for this episode, gang. This is Brian Flint Hill Catfishing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and click that bell notifications icon if you want to receive updates when I upload a video. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.